Hello, and welcome to Really Big Hat. My name is Jared, and this is Starfield. So, this is going to be the second video in my series of building a ship at all of the major manufacturers to see what you can build with uh, just their parts alone. And this episode is going to be Tayo, which brings me here to Region Towers in Neon. So if you didn't know where to go to find the Tayo parts, I am going to start the video with that. So we come to Region Towers here, go to the back elevator, and we go down to Tayo Astroneering. So it is, in fact, in Ryujin Tower here, is where you get the Tayo parts. Then we're just going to come around here. And talk to her. Tire ships are more than trans. We've got something. So we will go to our Rambler once again. Delete all of the pieces. And we will get started building. Uh, now, before I get started properly, I just want to go over a few things. First, there will be a timestamp in the description that will link to the end of the video where I have completed the ship if you just want to see the finished product. Uh, app Other than that, I just want to go over that I am above level 40. I am not on a new game plus. This is, uh, this is a first run through. I have max piloting and max starship design. I've got rank 4 in both of them. So I have access to basically all of the ship parts that you could possibly have from any of these manufacturers. So if you see me using some parts that you don't have, uh, it's likely due to your level or your ranks in piloting and starship design being lacking. So do keep that in mind. Uh, but without any further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, first and foremost, let's start with a landing bay. Uh, this is actually the same one we just used on our outpost uh, shipbuilder. So, in order to shake things up, let's uh, let's reverse it. Let's enter the ship from the other side. Let's have a rear hatch instead of a forward hatch. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, so let's go to some Habs here, and let's uh, let's try and make this a one-level ship. Let's try and make this a one-level ship. So I'm gonna use like the mid. Got some living quarters. Yeah. So these will actually have nodes like in all directions instead of some of the other ones that like like if you would come to one of these top ones like you can see it's curved on the top so you can only attach stuff to the to the front and rear sides and the top and bottom yeah left and right or I guess port and starboard <laughs> in this case this is a ship uh, yeah they don't have any uh, any nodes for clicking anything onto them, so it makes makes it a little more complicated uh, trying to put these all together. Uh, but let's go down to some of the two by twos. Let's uh, let's put one of those there. On one berth, brig, a cargo hull, about a computer core. Yeah, and I think that'll be as wide as we go in the rear, and then we'll try and, like, taper it to a point in the front. That sounds good. So let's go back to some of these 2 by ones Let's get a... Let's get a workshop and a science lab. Those are bread and butter picks for shipbuilding. That way you have... crafting stations. And then, uh, let's see. Okay, it looks like the 3 by ones are just an engineering bay. Then we've got some 3 by 2s but those are going to be a bit much. So yeah, let's uh, go with an engi engineering bay then. 
Yeah, that's a good profile for the ship. I guess alternatively, I could put a one by one there and then another two by one here, but I think just having the the engineering bay is fine. But this is about the profile I wanted because I want to leave room for structural pieces to finish out the uh, the shape of the ship, the design aesthetic. There's a word for it that I'm struggling to come up with, and I'm not going to spend the mental energy to think of it when I'm building a ship. I'm going to just build the ship. <laughs> okay, so let's put a command bridge here, and that'll be landing bay and a cockpit now. We're also going to need... Okay, a docker. We could probably put this like right here next to the next to the cockpit. Easy access. It's either gonna go here in the front, next to the cockpit, or here in the back next to the landing bay. And I'm up here next to the uh, cockpit right now, so that's where it's going. Uh, some engines. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, these are pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I was trying to think of what kind of reactor I'm going to want. I think I think we can go Class B again. So let's put a couple of these on the... Yeah. On the back there. That looks good. Could add some fuel tanks to the back there. Uh... I think I want to wait. I think it might be time to actually get into some of the structural stuff to see where I'm going to be going with that. Something like that here. Yeah, sure. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this like perfectly one level and still have it make look look sleek enough. Like it'll just look blocky if it's just one level. So maybe Oh. What about one of these? Back here. Yeah, there we go. And then I can like hide like some engines and stuff maybe on the top to to match that. Is that gonna block the docker though? Doesn't appear to. You can only see so many error messages at once. Uh, I'll just keep going and we'll see what we see. Uh, so I did. If I bring like some of these here. Oh, then I could go too high on the engines too. Yeah, that'll max out their power, but I've got the room. You might as well, if you've got it. <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, so, what else were you, side cap. Oh, is that gonna, oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, there we, yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's gonna go under that uh, little end cap perfectly. Of course, I am gonna need like landing gear somewhere too, so. Ooh, slope cap. Oh, now that's definitely going to block off the docker, isn't it? Let's see. It's hard to tell. That little blue line there that appears above the docker is where you need to keep everything below. It looks like that's actually below, and I didn't see an error pop up when it went down. So 
So I could probably fit like um uh, the grav drive and the reactor and stuff up there. Let's see. Yeah, let's uh Pop in a graph drive and a reactor. Again, I'm gonna need a rank B reactor. That's pretty cool looking. There we go. Yeah, we can hide all that in there. And then we will need some fuel tanks. Uh well, you know, with that double level there in the back, aren't there some, like, yeah, like some of this kind of, yeah, and I could maybe even put one on the outside or I mean, these do have a lot of mass, so maybe I'll just uh, do the inside of each, or maybe just the outside of each. Inside or outside, which one? I think I'll leave it like it is for now, and then I'll look at it later when I've got everything else settled. Um, I'm going to need a shield. I'm going to need, oh, some cargo, probably. Uh, this one looks flat and like it'll probably fit in here. Yeah. Right, so my only error is the landing gear, so that means that this docker is going to be fine. So we can get to the landing gear. Uh, so we do have, oh, we've got like these big ones here. That might be more interesting for, like, where I've got the, uh, the fuel tanks. Like, if I put them on the outside, and then maybe put, like, this on the inside, how does that look? That's not bad. What are my other options, though? Let's put this back. Uh, we've got that, we've got these, but that's going to go, like, below, and I've already got it one level, so that's not going to be good. Uh, so we've got these and these, but that, yeah, this is also going to go below, this, this pinpoint 4G. These aren't. Oh, and I got room on the sides here, and up front. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like that with uh, this on the inside. That, yeah, that looks better than the, the big one. And we'll just duplicate everything on the other side here. That's looking cool. Okay, still says minimum. Well, I had room up front, didn't I? Yeah. There we go. Now I should only need, like, a shield and some weapons, yeah. And that is looking pretty cool. That's... Yeah, this is pretty much what I had in mind in, in terms of, like, sleekness for the ship. So I guess a shield... We're probably going to have to get one of the side-facing ones, like one of these things. That's a 715 class A. Because I don't think we're going to have uh, anywhere to put the uh, top-facing ones that won't interfere with uh, 
Yeah. The uh, the docker is what I was thinking. So if we get one of these, yeah, one of these, I think we can just like hide it back here somewhere. That nah, won't work. Uh, yeah, we can just slap it on the side of this engine right here. That'll be fine. Yeah. Again, for symmetry's sake, I would like to have another one, but you can only have one shield system. That's why I usually go with the, uh, like, the top attaching ones, like the flat ones. Like, you know, something like this. Since it's a, a single thing, and it's not gonna, like, flop off the side. Yeah, I guess the, uh way around that would be to maybe have like a fuel tank or something on the other side. I mean, but we've already got so many fuel tanks and that won't even fit. Yeah, so it's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it bothers my OCD just a little bit not to have it perfectly symmetrical, but you live with it if you want to have a shield and we want to have a shield. Okay, so other than that, we need some weapons on this. Unless there's anything else structural we want to add. I don't think we actually have any uh, room for any portholes, except maybe here in the very back. But yeah, we've got that covered with fuel tanks. So no windows on this thing. No windows. Yeah, we've kind of covered all the sides and the tops. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Then we've got... I guess we could replace those nose caps with this braking engine, but that would just be a lateral move, design-wise. Uh, I don't think we need any of these, because that'll mess with the docker. Yeah, that goes... Yeah, that'll, that'll mess with everything, too. Yeah, no, I think we're good. I don't really see any gaps for more structural pieces, except maybe on top of some things. So let's, uh, let's move to the weapons. Um, we want to go something with good range, good damage, I mean, this has good range and a good rate of fire. The damage looks a little low, but it only takes two max power. Hmm. Yeah, let's do a couple of these. Oh, and we can put them on the landing gear. That makes things easy. Beep bop. And then... Well, I guess... Uh, we'll only be able to get one more set. I mean... I don't actually know how it works, like, if a weapon is, like... Right behind another weapon directly in the line of fire. If it's gonna, like, shoot itself off. I've never... I've never attempted something like that. I wonder if we could fit two different weapons there or not. Well, let's try and see what are we here for, if not to find out stuff like that. Um, oh, we've got some turrets. That we, we could do turrets. Just face them to the outside, or maybe face them the front and back. Yeah, we could do turrets. Um, There's so many weapons, and got to be reading so many different things with them. Yeah, let's try some more turrets. Let's try some more turrets. Why not? We'll have these be, like, rear-facing. Of course, this one will be, like, pointing right at the shield, but... I guess it'll be fine. I don't actually know. 
I really don't. This will be an experiment. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, assign those. We'll get our auto projector on our laser slot and then put the other turrets on the other slots. Then we've got all systems nominal. And unless there's something else we want to add, which I think we're good, uh, the only other things we could do is maybe give it some color. Um, oh, do those uh, big flaps not color? Okay, well in that case... Let's just leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, these slope caps, apparently you can't color them. Yeah, you don't even get the option. Look at that. Yeah, there's color there, and there's not there. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going with their original, kind of like gray. Which looks fine, honestly. Uh, so let's go ahead and just uh, rename the ship. Uh, we'll just name it, uh, Tayo, just, there we go. And we will accept. We'll make this the home ship. And we will go test it out, as is our, as is our custom. Hop up to Crick's here. Key. Set course, and we can just jump from there without even having to go back to our ship. Fun fact. So, yeah, there we are. Some Crimson Fleet. I don't know if our turrets are actually doing anything. It's hard to tell. But, even with that, yeah. Yeah, I was a little too focused on firing my own weapons that I couldn't really tell if the turrets were helping or not. <laughs> I guess it'll probably be easier to tell uh, when you're watching than when you're playing. So, <laughs> yeah. I guess you guys know before I do. I guess I'll know first since I'll have to edit this, but... <laughs> that is all well beside the point. Uh, this was uh, pretty cool. Um, one thing I did forget to do is a ship tour, so let's actually do that now. We'll do it in reverse, and we'll do it in space. So we've got our uh, cockpit here. Nice white lines. Nice and open space. Got our captain's locker. Got our uh, cargo hold. Hey, Barrett. <laughs> What's new? So here's our docking module right there. Then we're here in the engineering core. Which leads out here into looks like the science lab. Yeah. Then this is going to lead back into like a computer core here. Then we're over here. This is where our uh, rear hatch is. That's where we board the ship. Hello. Then we can come over here to our you know, our weapon workbench, your industrial workbench. This is our workshop here. And yeah, this attaches to the back here. Okay. Which gets us to our little uh, all-in-one living quarters here. Whatever it was called. I don't actually remember the name of it. I, even though I just built this thing. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually pretty cool. 
Uh, there's little <laughs> kitchen area, and that's oh, it's actually a functioning galley. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is uh, the ship. I said it's all one level. Got everything without needing to go on any ladders, which is helpful a lot of times. And yeah, so there we go. So with that, I will go ahead and sign off here. I will say I will see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>